The effort to recall New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell does not have enough signatures. That's according to Governor John Bell Edwards. This morning, the signatures were delivered to his office in Baton Rouge. We caught up with the governor at an event in Hammond, and he confirmed the recall has fallen short. Paul Murphy starts our team coverage, joining us live from Hammond with the latest. Paul, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just moments ago, Governor John Bell Edwards broke the news that he will not be calling a recall election in New Orleans. He told us that organizers of the effort to recall New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell did not meet their burden of 20 percent of the signatures of the active and registered voters in the city. He also said that organizers actually threw out more signatures than they kept, throwing out about 39,000 signatures, many of them from out of the parish. The governor spoke to reporters before a luncheon here on the SLU campus. The certification indicated that the number of electors in Orleans Parish at the start of the recall petition was right at 225,000. As you know, 20 percent uh, of those voters uh, have to sign the petition in order for the threshold to be met. That would be about 45,000, just, just shy of 45,000. The number of valid signatures certified to me was 27,000. Uh, so it's about 12% rather than 20%. And thus, I won't be calling an election. The threshold was not satisfied. And according to the governor, that it, the, uh, you may be asking yourself, well, well, why did they even bother bringing the signatures and the petitions up to Baton Rouge this morning? I asked the governor that same question, and he told us that it's, it's a legal technicality that they have to do that, and that that is part of uh, state law, so they're just following the procedure. But again, the, the governor telling us that the organizers of the effort to recall New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell did not meet their burden, so at least for now, there won't be a recall election in New Orleans. We're live on the campus of the Southeastern Louisiana University in Hammond, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Paul, thank you so much. Despite pledges of transparency, the Registrar of Voters Office would not say how many signatures they have verified. Now, Alyssa Curtis has been following the recall effort. She joins us now live in Baton Rouge with the latest. Alyssa. Hi, Lily. Like you said, we had no idea until recently, like Paul said, how many signatures were delivered and how many were certified. Now, that certification process has been complete for about at least a day now, and those signatures were delivered here to the Capitol, to the governor's office earlier this morning around 9.15. Now, the deadline to complete those signatures was would be tomorrow, um, Wednesday, but those signatures were completed earlier. Like we just learned, they do not have enough signatures to trigger a recall vote. Like Paul just said, they turned in over 60,000 signatures, but over half of those were invalid and not by qualified electors in Orleans Parish. Now, according to a lawyer for the Registrar of Voters, all documents received by the Registrar from the recall organizers were reviewed and certified twice, so they went through this process very diligently and made sure that all documents were certified and secured correctly and by that deadline that was tomorrow but of course now we know those signatures have been delivered to the governor's office this morning around 9 15 this morning and again the process has been completed for about a day now so those signatures are done complete the governor has them in a secure location and like we now know those signatures were not enough to recall or trigger a recall vote. So Governor um, Governor Edwards will not be issuing a proclamation for a vote and Mayor Control will be staying in office. We'll, of course, keep you updated with everything that we know live at the Capitol. Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News. Alyssa, thank you so much. And we want to bring in Eyewitness News political anal analyst Clancy Dubose. Clancy, now that we know this, is there any chance at all that this could move forward? Could they issue this recall again? Well, first of all, under the law, any elected official who is subject to a recall petition in Louisiana, if the recall fails, there can be no more recalls for 18 months. Okay. So the mayor is effectively insulated from any more recalls for 18 months, but when you consider that she's got two years and roughly eight months left in her term, eight and a half months in her term, by the time they could recall her again, it would be within a year of the election to replace her. So it would be 
futile. Uh, so the real takeaway from that is, will Latoya Cantrell learn anything from this? Or is she going to feel validated to continue doing the things that gave rise to the recall petition? We'll just have to wait and see. Time will tell. But you know what's interesting, if you look at, there were effectively two tranches, if you will, of petitions that were delivered. What you're seeing are the petitions that were delivered on February 22nd. That was the 180-day deadline that the recall organizers had to meet. There was another deadline five days later, and it could even be some litigation about whether that five days should have included the weekend or not. But the, the, uh, the registrar said five days including the weekend, even though her office was closed in the weekend. Uh, so they turned in another, they turned in 32,000 uh, signatures on the first day. I'm sorry, 34,000 signatures on, the, on, the, on February 22nd. Five days later, on February 27th, they had a lot of mail petitions that were returned, and they turned in 32,000 of those. Of those 32,421, 32,397 were rejected. That's like 99 plus percent were rejected, and most of them were for reasons described as other, and there were a handful of things. It could have been that they were dated wrong, because if, if that five-day period is a period in which uh, voters can officially and specifically request to have their names added to the petition, but it has to be dated after February 22nd. So if they turned them in and they had a, a date before February 22nd or on February 22nd, it could be invalidated for that. But uh, the bottom line to all of this, there's really two giant takeaways. The legislature needs to do some more to clean up the, uh, the recall laws, to put in more transparency, because nobody's been transparent here. Not, not the mayor, not the registrar, not the recall organizers, and the law needs to require more. And then the other takeaway is, how will the mayor respond? Will she change, or will she just keep being uh, Latoya Cantrell, as the one we know and love? Well, Clancy, we have not heard from her office as of yet, but this is developing right now, and we will continue to have more in our later newscasts and online as well. Thank you so much for joining us.